We are not opposed to the relief aid which is given to the Ethiopian people, but the Ethiopian government uses it for military purposes. This is butter oil which was given by the European uh, community and we captured it in uh, the military uh, barracks of the Derg of the Ethiopian government. This truck uh, is also given by the UNICEF and we captured it when it was transporting military supplies to the Ethiopian army. Uh, here, uh, the Relief Society of Tigray, which is a humanitarian organization, which is working in the liberated areas of Tigray, is giving aid to drought victims. Our forces attacked uh, Koram on April 20. Uh, it was purely a military operation in order to avert the recruitment of able-bodied people by the military government. At present, the, the military government of Addis Ababa is recruiting people from the shelters, and already it has recruited about 10,000 people, force, forcefully recruited about 10,000 people, and it is training uh, them in a place called Kombolcha near Desse, which is the capital city of Wollo. It has been reported that at the beginning of this week, the Tigray People's Liberation Front kidnapped 10 international relief workers. Can you confirm this? And if so, can you tell us what will happen to them? Well, so far we are not able to confirm whether our forces have taken uh, these aid workers. But we will try to uh, make the maximum effort to uh, keep their uh, well-being. We will uh, we'll take care of them uh, as far as our resources uh, allow us and uh, they will be released as soon as possible.